Hello everyone, Aaron, also known as Quill, but now known as Schoolboy, uh, here with another Pikachu analysis. This one of OKP is Pikachu versus Lifeline, the Captain Falcon player, in what appears to be a loser's finals, even though they, have, um, they haven't updated it quite yet here. But uh, here, I'll, I'll turn the volume down actually for this. And so they go to FD, doesn't look like a neutral start. Immediately right off the bat, oh man, the go sign's in the way. Looks like they just crossed each other up. Uh, no one really got hit. He's just doing some dash dancing, trying to bait out um, moves. Right as, um, I don't know if he timed this on purpose, but it's really well timed if it was. Uh, right as Falcon is landing from this knee that he was throwing out, uh, OKP is coming across him with his nair. Oh my, okay, and then I'm assuming I've seen, I watched this set before. I think he up airs here. No, down smash. Um, but he sets up this cross up nair a lot into an up air, and then as they're both falling, he nairs and gets a grab out of it. And uh, it's it's a combo that I've, after watching this, have been starting to implement it myself and have noticed it. Um, it's very very useful. It's a consistently good thing. So he down smashes and uh, ch chases the tech, but it doesn't quite get to him in time. Uh, just dash dances, trying to bait out moves from the Captain Falcon. It's FD, so I mean he only really has one way to come at him. So hmm, I might turn this down just a bit so it doesn't pause like that every time I want to move the video. Hmm. I don't know if that's a me thing or my computer thing. Okay, so. He tries to grab him out of the nair, and if he had dashed just a bit further, he would have gotten him, but doesn't quite get it. Just goes and grabs him. What, what do you grab him out of? He lands with his back air, but misses. He dashes, um, appears to dash out of it, and then comes back in with a grab. And at that point, it's just the, um, you know, the rest is history, as they say. Up smash, thunder, and that's a stock. So he's dash dancing around him, trying to whiff out these moves, uh, threatening with the down tilt. That was actually pretty cool by the Falcon. Lands with this up air, uh, catching OKP by surprise because it looked like he was in lag from the stomp. Uh, just a really quick up air into a grab. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, looks like, hmm, I wonder if he could have re-grabbed. Maybe not. It looks like OKP hit really good DI here. Uh, tech in place. Does he get the re-grab? No, he, I'm guessing he was reading tech in or something. Uh, hits him in the back with this nair, up air. Yeah, he, here's what I was talking about. Comes in with this nair, then he hits him with the up air as he crosses him up. Uh, they both fall down, and he hits him with this nair as they're falling to put him into hit stun, and grabs him out of it for the free chain grab setup. He actually double jumps out of that. Let's see, so he's at 70 something. Uh, jumps out of it. So that's I didn't. That's interesting. I wonder if there was a different way he could have followed it up after he jumped out. So he goes for the up smash, because I mean, I would have expected that to connect as well. But he jumps out. At this point, I don't know. Maybe I would have gone for a nair here, but <laughs> I, I guess that could just as easily be stuffed out by a back air from the Captain Falcon, to be honest. And also, I don't know if it would have even reached in time. It looks like he got out of trouble very quickly. So a wave lands back, just an empty wave land. Doesn't doesn't throw out an aerial. He so he baits out so using this wave land back, you can see he baits out this grab. Then he wave dashes back out of shield and comes at him with a nair. And at that point he can just edge guard. If Falcon had gone on stage here, I, I know I know I'm a bit late to say this. But if Falcon had gone on stage here, it was an up smash anyways, so the Falcon's only real choice was to try and go for ledge. 
So okay if he's dash dancing around more. Uh, hits him with this Thunder Jolt. And you'll find Thunder Jolt is actually really good at setting up for Pikachu's other um, other combo starters. So if you uh, full hop Thunder Jolt and fly with it, you land around the same time your Thunder Jolt will, as long as you're you know going in about the same direction. And you can usually combo that into um, sometimes like up tilt, up smash, or in this case you can see he does it with an up air. So he full hops with this Thunder Jolt, and it hits Captain Falcon in such a way that he gets a free up air out of it. And then I'm guessing lands with another Nair into re-grab. Oh, he misses the grab. But he, he uh, capitalizes anyways. So yeah, it's pretty rough. I, I, I don't know why the um, Falcon opted for FD. It misses the Thunder, but... I like that down tilt. I wonder if he wave dashed into it. No, he just uh, run cancelled it with Crouch. I think he meant to down tilt there also, or jump cancel up smash. Getting stuffed out by aerials from the Falcon here. Rolls out, gets an air. Hmm. I wonder what we could have done there. Hmm. Probably dash attack. Yeah, he wave dashed back out of fear. But, uh, hmm, well, I don't know. He did kind of sweet spot it. I wonder if dash attack would have covered this. If it would have, that would have just outright killed the Falcon. Uh, I don't know. I, I would have risked it and gone for the dash attack had I the mind to do so. But and then again, I, I'm not in this. I'm not in losers finals, you know. But. He wave dashes back, probably uh, just either, either out of giving him too much respect or out of uh, recognizing that the, that the dash attack wouldn't have connected. I wonder if that was kind of the same situation. Although I don't think dash attack would have made it in time anyways. Yeah, no, it wouldn't have. Not for that one at least. And he comes out with the up air to knee. A good follow up by the Falcon. Nice. I wonder if that was a shield stop. So you see him dashing around. And he gets this quick turnaround. I, I don't know if it was a shield stop or a pivot. But out of dash dance, he gets this um, really good turnaround up air. And then he can c turn it into a down air and send the Captain Falcon off stage, and that Thunder Jolt's just really good. And then he, yeah, that's that's pretty much all you have to do. Just take cover ledge, and then uh, up smash Falcon when he lands, or go for a grab and reset the edge guard situation. But the up smash is just better at that percent because it just outright kills. Here you see him go for the same. I know I keep rewinding, and I'm sorry for that, but I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. He, so he he recognizes that the Falcon is to his back, so he gets the uh, the up air. To falling there to grab again and it just sets up for the same combo we've we've all seen he gets the jab reset after missing the grab which is really smart hmm. he didn't quite get the nair that time i wonder if it wouldn't have worked at that percent and then reverse tail spike oh he went for he, i think he went for the reverse tail spike uh, still got the kill anyways now here's what confuses me, and I don't know if this was out of, um, like, a, perhaps, I don't know, maybe trying to prove a point or what. I, I can't speak for the Falcon here, but he goes back to the FD. He goes back to the uh, destination of the finals, and so he... I, don't, I, I, I can't say I understand this decision, but he went for it anyways. Runs in, uh, probably immediately just trying to grab him, uh, catch him off guard, but... Okay, P, foreseeing whatever he was trying to do, just goes for an immediate down, stash, down smash right as the uh, game starts. Oh, there you see another turnaround up, up air. I, I think it was shield stop that time. Yeah, you can actually shield see the shield come up. So he runs this way, just and shield stops like immediately, just to, just to have his back towards the Falcon to set up for the um, the up air to nair to grab that we all that we all know and love, and so he. 
he shields it though, but it's reset neutral, dash dancing. Just run, run up shield. When you see someone um, throwing out a lot of moves like this, like you see the Falcons, hold on, let me rewind that neutral exchange. So look at the Falcon, he's throwing out moves. Uh, run up shield is really good for that because they're gonna, like, if they're doing that, just run up shield and wait for them to land to get the grab. I, I think run up shield is really underrated, at least when you're fighting people who, who are uh, throwing out moves in neutral like that, it's just, run up shield is is very good. So he, he does that here. You see he gets this run up shield. I, I kind of want to see that again. So he's, he's throwing out these moves, run up shield, and he gets this grab. And then, of course, that, that sets up for the chain grab. I don't know, the down throw, I don't know if that was a DI mix-up or um, just um, a BM of some sort. I'm really not sure, to be honest, but you know, it could have been a flub also, but I, I doubt that's the case. Hmm. Good cover with this Thunder Jolt. I wouldn't have thought to do that. But let me, let me explain the, the importance of this Thunder Jolt. So I, I don't know if it would have hit the Falcon here, but it threatens him to where it makes him feel like he has to get up. Otherwise, he's probably going to get hit. I don't think he would have in this situation, but it's, it's, it's a good threat. And so now if he, now uh, OKP can grab the ledge. And now he's in the, he, it's in his favor, all because of that Thunder Jolt. It, it seems that way, at least. He's really good at recognizing this ambiguous DI. Hmm... I don't know if he probably he probably tried to turn that uh, thunder jolt around, but as he seemed to make it work out anyways. And I like this down tilt because the Falcon's obviously running in for a grab here after he whiffs that um this aerial, so the immediate down tilt just stuffs out the Falcon. Then he chases him with this nair, but. Uh, misses because the Falcon was uh, cognizant enough to run straight out of the situation before he could get caught out. However, let's see, how did he get caught like that? And he goes for this. Um, I actually like this. I've been looking, I've been thinking about this more late, lately. Is that um, people will sometimes you'll see like people situationally use roll as an approach, and like he maintains his back to the Falcon, he just rolls back to him and then up airs him. And uh, I don't know. I think I think that's actually really good against certain um, strategies. Is rolling, but like just, just don't spam it. Like if you become predictable with rolling, then it becomes a problem. But in, in situations like this, it's actually super good, at least sometimes. So he rolls back and gets this up air to nair to grab. Oh, uh, misses the grab. Goes for it again, but gets jabbed. Good, good. That was a really good uh, follow up by the Falcon. I like this Falcon's movement. So you see he gets this cross up Nair. Uh, this is uh, this is just me nitpicking, I guess. You know, I'm not the better player. P OKP is significantly better than myself. But you see him go for this um, full hop Thunder Jolt. And he expected it to um, hit him in such a way that it would set up for this up air. But I think had he gone for up tilt instead, or up smash, it would have set up. Uh, it would have knocked the Falcon in the air, and then he could have uh, capitalized off of that. But I think he's, I think he's more going after the grab for the more guaranteed stuff. So I, I can understand the uh, the up air attempt. But in the, in that situation, I would have gone for up tilt or up smash. Almost gets him with that dare, and if he did, it was uh, curtains, but it, it didn't quite work. No, oh, I was going to say I was surprised it didn't kill, but it did. I want to see how he got that grab again. I'm sorry, I was kind of zoning. So, he gets this cross up Nair, and he tries for this turnaround up smash, but the Captain Falcon dashes out of it and tries to uh, react with his own knee, which, to, which uh, OKP dashes out of and then comes back in with, uh, with a quick grab. And I respect this uh, wave dash forward tilt, but I wonder if it would have been. I 
I uh, yeah, I don't think dash attack would have been smart there anyways. It's just pretty risky because it puts you in so much lag. So I think wave dash forward tilt was probably safer. Yeah, he gets this grab, and that's probably it for the Falcon. Nice, I actually really like that. Nice. You'll see this, you can usually tell when uh, someone's played Pikachu a lot is when they know how to position their up air just right to send it in the right direction. Right about here, where they're just like above and to the right just barely, that's when the up air will spike that way. At least, um, in my experience, that's that's a good way I know how to explain it. But yeah, at that point, there's no coming back for the Falcon. And so, what was that? Double three stock? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that was a double three stock. And the Falcon, again, I don't know for what reason he's doing this. He might, he'd probably be better off going for um, Yoshi's I don't know why he keeps to, it gets his counter pick. I don't know if um OKP is just banning Yoshi's or I don't know if <laughs> pardon my ignorance, I don't know if you can ban a stage twice, but I, I just don't know why the Falcon isn't taking him to a different stage. But they go back to FD. I think it's to um I think the Falcon is trying to pump himself up, you know, to prove himself that he can do it, which I respect also, but uh, at this point I, I think when you get three stock twice in a row, it's probably best to just go to a different stage. Uh, so he, uh, I think he just waits that time because last time he ran in and got just down smashed. So he waits. He just waits. Uh, yeah, they're just dash dancing. They both go for a grab and they both whiff, which is kind of funny. He gets this wave dash out of shield. And where Nair would have connected here which it did, grab would have also connected. So he would dash this forward. He could have grabbed, but he goes for the Nair, which was, I think, just probably just option select as, as far as going for the safer thing. Again, I can't judge because he's the better player, but uh, it, considering Nair connected here, grab would have also connected, and he could have back thrown and probably tried to cheese Falcon. Uh, Falcon's pretty cheesable, especially by the uh, the yellow rat. He goes for the dash dance grab, but whiffs, and again, you see him protect himself with this down tilt. Because the, it's the same situation. He, he whiffs, the Falcon runs in wanting to get the grab, but he, he stuffs it with the down tilt after the whiff. Because he knows that's, that's what the Falcon wants, that that situation is the grab. So he down tilts to stop the Falcon from getting it. And he gets the nair. Uh, I'm guessing up air to nair. Doesn't quite get the grab, but that's because the... Uh, the Falcon, I think he DI'd way out. Yeah, it seems that way. Wave dashes back out of um, this Nair range, and I think I'm guessing he Nairs him. Oh, he goes for the down air. Somehow manages to not get grabbed there. Down till. Mm. Just a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of neutral going on. Falcon wanted this um, up air to send in a different direction. This stomp, I I love this nair. It was so quick to turn around and position himself that well. Uh, it's, it's pretty hard. So he gets this stomp, immediate turnaround nair, connects both hits, and he goes for this up air. And he wanted it to send just like a little this way so we could get a, a knee. And that, that that would have at least set up for an edge guard. Um, but he, he gets the wrong hit of the up air and sends it behind, so he has to awkwardly turn around, which uh, doesn't quite work out for him. See, there's the down tilt again. Quick ledge grab. I actually really like that, so he... I want to see that again. He nares him off stage. Uh, knows that after whiffing that move, Falcon's going to want to come in. Down tilts him. And then really quickly, uh, look at the pancake Pikachu. Uh, really quickly uh, snaps to ledge, which is um, risky if you don't know your angles. But if you're an experienced Pikachu player, this becomes easier. It's not something that I've got down yet. But 
he snaps to ledge from stage, which is really useful, and it's something I should get better at. And then he just drops down with a nair, with a rising nair, and it stage spikes the falcon. You can see the green where it hit him against the stage, and it just kills him outright. And I gotta hand it to the falcon, though. He did keep it a lot closer this game. Another situation where um where he hits the thunder jolt and goes for the up air but it doesn't connect. Uh, up tilt would have hit. Up smash would have hit. Uh, I wonder actually maybe grab. Yeah no I think so because look at where Falcon is. I think you could totally grab out of that. But then again you put yourself in a lot of um a lot of risk going for that grab. So maybe he maybe the up air is just safer and he's just option selecting to that. But I don't know, I'm uh, I'm not very safe, and it costs me a lot, but I, I would have gone for the up tilt, the up smash, and looking at it, perhaps maybe someday a grab. So he lands with this nair after um, up airing, just to cover himself as he lands, and perhaps not uh, knock the falcon into maybe a grab, but doesn't quite knock the falcon in such a way that it works out. He dashes out of the falcon's jab. I want to guess comes back in with a grab, but no, it didn't. Um, he just air dodge behind him. I don't know if the air dodge was on purpose, but either way it worked out that he ended up behind the Falcon and he grabs him. Jab reset. You gotta know the Falcon right now, or the Fox or the Falcon, whoever you're chain grabbing. Um, in this up throw situation, if you miss... Oh, hold on, I, I didn't rewind far enough. See, if you miss... Nobody in a chain grab situation is spamming tech. They they think they're going to get re-grabbed. So this guy, of course, he misses the tech. So it's not like it's something you haven't even had to really react to. It's just something that you had to be aware is going to happen because they're going to miss that tech uh, more often than not because they're expecting to get grabbed. They're not expecting to try to tech. So he misses the tech. So what do you do? You just jab and get another free grab out of it. You see Axe do it all the time, and you see OKP do it here. Up smash. Uh, he DI'd. I don't know if that was just really good DI, but or just by chance, but he DI'd really well there. Goes for the stomp, which I respect, but didn't work out. No, that'll be up smash. He misses the jump cancel. Misses the angle. He's just falcon is moving, dude. Gets this stomp. I, I'm assuming he was reading a roll in, and that's why he jumped that way. Uh, okay, if he stays in place, but still gets um, still gets hit. Or actually, what happened there? Yeah, still gets stomped. But okay, if he rolls out and then nares him before he can uh, react. I like this shield stop up air, even if it didn't hit, I do like it. He runs, um, where was it? There's the down tilt. Uh, didn't rewind far, far enough. Okay, so, what happened here? I keep ending up in the wrong spot. Yeah, it was here. He's running away from this stomp. Like, the falcon's coming in with the stomp, he's running away from it. And when he when he realizes, okay, this is a safe spot. This is where the Falcon's going to stop. This is where I want to stop also right behind him. Or right in front of him with my back to him. He realizes this is the spot. Gets the shield. I, hmm. That may have been run cancel instead of shield stop. But shield stop would have worked also. Yeah, no, it was a shield stop. That's just jump squat. I thought he did a crouch run cancel. But uh, he shield stops here. And gets this up air. But it, it didn't work. Uh, but still, it's just really good to know that, okay, okay, Falcon's coming at me. I'm going to dash away from him. As he and as he whiffs this aerial, I'm going to use the shield stop up air to catch him out of it. That can work a lot of times, so I, can, I, I definitely respect what we went for here. Even if it didn't work in this situation, it's something good to learn, and I'm glad I, I just picked that up. I think, was that a roll? No, it was another uh, 
dash out or wave dash out. I don't know what he did exactly. And he got this up air coming away from the Falcon with his back to him and then catches him with the up air. So he, he gets away from the Falcon's approach and counters with an up air and it sets up for this whatever he gets next. Mm, chases the tech. I don't know why the uh, down air, the down throw there, but manages to pick it up anyways. Good DI from the Falcon to be able to jump out of that, and he even turns it into a combo. And then he's moonwalking to this Falcon. He's, he's adjusted well this game, and as I say that, he gets tail spiked. This would be another one of those situations. Like you see the Falcon throwing out the moves. Right? Um, this would be another one of those situations, at least um, if, if I'm reading it correctly, where run up shield would, ca would catch this Falcon's Nair here and net a grab for the Pikachu. Like, the, like you saw OKP do earlier with the run up shield. I imagine that would probably be good in this situation also, because the Falcon is um, is going on the... Uh, he seems to be going on the offensive. He goes for the grab, but doesn't quite get it. Hmm. Very quick. So in this situation, this up air sends the Falcon off. Any Pikachu will do what, what OKP does. Any Pikachu is going to, going to go for the ledge, of course. The Falcon was um, smart enough to just go for the ledge anyways. He still had his up E. All he had to do was double jump to it. Anybody's going to recognize that the Pikachu is going to want that. And you, because of the invincibility grabbing the ledge, the Pikachu just dies. So that was very smart by the Falcon. I like this tech chase. So he hits him with this Nair, recognizes the trajectory he's in, and I don't know if this was a read or just a really quick reaction, but he gets this wave dash forward. He, had he landed in place, I think he would have been right in his face because of the wave dash forwards for the grab. So had he, had he done a missed tech or a tech in place, he could have gotten that. So I think this wave dash forward is really smart. Uh, but because he's rolling away, he still gets to run up and grab him. And I don't know if the, I think the Falcon could have perhaps spot dodged out of this, but it's still impressive. And at that point, that's just um, oh, he still jumps out. Well, once again, it's about like um, 70, 80 percent ish that the Falcon is getting out of these. He double jumps out. Uh, tries to cover his uh, the Pikachu's approach. He tries to stomp it out. Doesn't quite work. I like this up tilt though. After the nair. So he hits this nair, goes for the up tilt. But I wonder if F tilt would have connected here. Because if F, that F tilt hits, this nair F tilt, he, I, I see he went for the up tilt, and I love Pikachu up tilt. And I, I, I see what it would have like, it would have led into a lot had it hit. But I see, uh, I, I'm thinking, if I'm not mistaken, that F tilt, had it reached, would have just outright killed the Falcon here. So after the snare, just um, the F tilt would have just set up for the edge guard or. Yeah. Uh, still gets this uh, dash, this run cancel down smash, which stayed spikes the Falcon and sends him off. Uh, that works. You can also, in this situation, like if you see where the Falcon's coming from. I think dash attack would also knock him off. So, but I, I do like the down smash because the stage spike works out. Uh, assuming the Falcon isn't expecting it to tech it. But yeah, that works out. And that's the set. And then I fist bump and that's it. Thanks you guys for watching. Uh, I've been Aaron, aka Schoolboy. And this has been a Pikachu set with OKP.